Student of Tonal Level 1. We are here to present a research study entitled The Academic Struggle ng Greater Student Post-Pandemic. For now, may I introduce to you my groupmates, namely Mr. Rompo, Mr. Rondoy, Ms. Ibanez, Ms. Baltazar, Ms. Nacion, Ms. Fuentes, Ms. Jess, Mr. Romero, Mr. Amy's Coy, Ms. Basilio, Ms. Malbas. Why did we choose this study? Because to see many, many people struggling with studies and research has found that excessive levels of academic, academic stress can result in an increase prevalence of psychological and physical problems like anxiety, depression, and stress-related disorders. Now, we will discuss the rationale to be given to us by Ms. Rai. As the world evades to the disruption of the pandemic, the Philippines has seen the state of visuality in which educational institutions are encouraged to promote online mediums to help the to maintain the flow of the ed education. So, educational institutions in the Philippines are given to promote learning through online adjusting educational technologies in the teaching and their learning process. Because certain of the technologies are required for the student to participate in an online class. And with an online platform, provide educational materials to support those continuous following national policy of the Department of Education of United Kingdom Teaching Department of Education 2022. Following the national policy, the Department of Education of the United Kingdom started to encourage higher education institutions to return to delivering face-to-face -face teaching. As a result, most universities in the United Kingdom switched to face-to-face -face classes, which present new issues for students, particularly those from different cultural perspectives. Most researchers like Psycho 2021, Gupta 2022, Subiski and Bashir 2022, when student transitions related to the pandemic and post-pandemic, education have focused on challenges during online transitions. A limited amount of research has been conducted on the reverse transition, in which students switch from online to offline learning. According to the Department of Education, the Philippine government and educational institutions are planning to reopen school as COVID cases decrease globally. This will include integrating health-related activities and policies and programs, as well as contingency plans and health protocols. It and Galavan students from the various public elementary schools in the division of Davao City was chosen for participation in full interview and post-group discussion. Regarding the economic issues, six franchises arrived. Galavan students had experienced these things including devoltist language, skills, devoltist with a subject, desire for home, war and stress, support system, poor academic performance, and poverty. There were also four important topics presented on how Kalagan students solve problems, such as hard work, concentration, feedback activities, increased attendance and study habits, and encouragement. As well as health, the relevance is significant based on their academic experiences, involved surveillance, knowledge, a shape in viewpoint and attitude, and practice utilizing English language. The study aims to find outcome in assist in achieving resilience in a variety of coping techniques. When the pandemic is happening, it is critical to understand the difficulties that the students are facing and learn from their experiences. The purpose of this study is to respond the inquiries about the challenging faced by students in the ongoing pandemic and academic performance and coping strategies. This study focuses on academic struggles among grade and students in Crossing Bayabas National High School. Our respondents are the students in Crossing Bayabas National High School with an 10th section who will participate answering the survey questionnaire. So far, study will benefit the school department, parents, and students. School department, this will help them determine the strength and weaknesses of a certain program based on the responsive of the student. It will also help to determine what specific areas they should focus more and further enhance in order to make the program more responsive towards preparing the students for their future professions. Parents, they have direct influence that is stronger than the teachers, friends, and media. For this reason, a parent's positive attitude and support towards their children's education is considerable. It can inspire and empower the child to develop good learning habits and this result in academic success. Students, it can be cathartic. For a student to talk about their struggles since allow them to process their feelings and comprehend their difficulties better. 
Furthermore, it may encourage positive change by making students feel acknowledged and validated. Students may help their friends live better lives and build more encouraging learning environments by sharing their experiences. The definition of terms. In order to have an easy and better understanding for the readers, the researcher defined these following terminologies conceptually and operationally. Academics travel where students have a learning difficulties, they face the challenges and had the academic experiences. Pernal setup refers to a viewpoint to that emphasizes the importance of teaching what endures forever. The cathartic, this term refers to bringing about relief by releasing the intense feeling. The last one is the hybrid learning provides a method for communication for both in-person and online students. This also refers to a combination of methods for teaching and learning in the midst of our new normal. Historical framework, Pinto's theory of social and academic integration referred to student retention. According to Spadi, 1970, who was the first to apply Durkheim's theory of suicide to student retention. Durkheim's model of suicide individual commits suicide because they are insufficiently integrated into society. Tinto reverse Tinto asserts that dropout because drop out of course because students are insufficiently integrated into different aspects of the universe. Tinto reversed the theory in 1987 by including the three stages of moving from one community to another one. And so first is separation student pairing one group to another one. And second is transition student dealing with the stress with with the stress of copying in unfamiliar words. Banner 2021-7 goes into more details the two facets of Pedro's concept academic performance of students, intellectual growth, and whether the students feel that lecturers are genuinely committed to educating and assisting someone of the class. Students face both internal and external difficulties throughout the transfer from online to offline learning, which contribute to a general resistance to the change. The greatest effect on students were specifically caused by policy problems such as policy conflicts, which led to emotional distress, monetary loss, and poor educational outcomes. Students who had become dependent on digital resources while studying remotely face difficulties as a result of the decline in digital tools and learning resources during the move. There are yet more difficulties such as social interaction problems and academic difficulties. Hansen Joby 2000 and Elsori 2000, in their research, numerous researchers have covered the various elements that influence students' academic achievement. These classroom variables, both internal and external, have a significant impact on student performance. Internal classroom factors such as student English proficiency, lesson plans, class size, and exam procedures. External factors consist of extracurricular activities, family issues, employment and issues with money, society, and other things according to research. A variety of factors including learning facilities, gender, and age. Disparities, ETC can have an impact on students' performance. Hansen Ju B. 2000, Harb El Sharawi, 2006, discovered that the paternal involvement is a significant aspect that has a favorable impact on pupils' performance. In this chapter, the research method and procedure employed in the completion of this study. This includes the research design, research expanded, research local, research instrument, data gathering procedure, data analysis, statistical tools, and trustworthiness of the study or ethical consideration. The study employed quantitative approach of data analysis. This study is a descriptive research design, which is a type of study that is used to describe characteristics of a population or phenomenon being studied. Descriptive research, on the other hand, is a type of research that is mainly concerned with describing a nature or condition in the degree and detail of the present. This research study was conducted at Crossing Bayabas National High School to in Davao City, Davao del Sur, Philippines. Crossing Bayabas National High School is one of the popular places listed under school in Davao City. It is a public secondary school in Turin, Davao City, conceived on November 22, 1997, following the approval of the Republic Act No. 8388, authored by the late, late Congressman Elias B. Lopez.
The respondents of this research study were the students of Cosim Bayabas National High School Turil, Davao City, Philippines in the academic year 2022 to 2023, fourth quarter. The respondents were the grade 10 students from the different sections, affection, bravery, courage, diligence, empathy, faith, generosity, honesty, integrity, justice, kindness, love, modesty, nobility, obedience, patience, quality, resilience, sincerity, and unity. So, many of grade students both strongly agree with the survey and this indicates that grade students are experiencing a lot of post-pandemic academic difficulties. The second one, both of my grade students is agree and this indicates that students are not aware of the academic struggles experienced by grade students following the pandemic. And the third one is neutral. This implies that grade people's post-pandemic academic struggles are well known to them. The fourth one is disagree. This implies that grade pupils are post less noticed by the students. And lastly is the strongly agree. And this also indicates that academic struggles post-pandemic are observed are not observed by the students. Data gathering procedure. The following method were used that to collect the data. The researcher requested authorization before the beginning in the investigation. The following information we conduct a survey among the greatest students at Cruising Bayabas National High School inst instructing them in how give give honest and clear and complete answer to ensure that the questioner serve its purpose after the answering the research. The researcher personally went, went to individually got it. As soon as the data had been gathered, the researchers tallied them in accordance with how they would be statistically tested and all of the respondents' responses were gathered and validated using a Microsoft Excel file. The information from the surveys was statistically processed, evaluated, and interpreted to provide answers to the Chapter 1 research problems, after which the researchers examined and interpreted the finding based on the study's targets. The purpose of this research was to pinpoint the aspect that affects student academic difficulties in crossing Bayabas National High School. The research question statement that guided this study were like this. After the pandemic, did you find it difficult to start a school year in a new learning setup? A survey was used to gather information on 210 students in grade 10 as a basis for analysis. Data was analyzed using descript descriptive statistics including regression analysis. The data analysis revealed several significant findings. The mean average for Q1 was 3.52. The difficulty of starting the school year is a new learning setting. It was one of the numerous characteristics, including others that that were strongly linked to other challenges, according to regression analysis. The finding of this study suggests that the study habits are an important issue to student academic struggles. However, there additionally after school programs need an effective way to support an academic success. However, they are limited limitation of the study, including the limited of the numbers of participants and the possible bias among the respondents and the survey data. Mean. It refers to the mean or average that can be used to determine the data central tendency. In this study, the tools was used to describe the level of behavior and struggles on the academic struggle among grade 10 students in Crossing Bayabas National High School. Regression. The regression method help comprehend the relationship between two or more variable in use in analysis. It show how one variable is depend on other and their inter effect on each other. There is a simple linear regression using a single independent variable to interpret the dependent variable and multiple linear regression using multiple independent variable to interpret the outcome. An independent variable is an object of period or input value change are used to assess the impact on an output value, the end of object, measured in mathemata and mathematical statistical or financial modeling. Variable means something which will change as per available information, as independent variables means information that is not dependent on any other input and provide on a sound loan basis. There were also four
more important topics presented on how Calagan students solve problems, such as hard work, concentration, feedback activities, increased attendance and study habits, and encouragement, as well as help the relevant and significant based on their academic experiences in both observance, knowledge, a shape in viewpoint and attitude, and practice utilizing English language. There are various reasons why it is crucial to research to comply to ethical standards. First, standards encourage research goals like knowledge, truth and error and good and seconds. Ethical standards encourage the collaborate work such as trust, accountability, mutual respect. This section presents the analysis and interpretation of the study and the research problem following the quantitative methodology. The contents of this chapter are the responses of the respondents gathered through survey method. Through interviews, respondents were able to unconsciously cover the set of questions and statements. The specific topic discussed in this study are levels of struggles of students face after the pandemic, both internal and external challenges to students during the online to offline shift, which lead to a general resistance to said shift. <clears throat> Specifically, policy challenges impose the most significant impact on the students, resulting in psychology, psychological anxiety, financial losses, and negative learning experiences. The reduction of digital tools and learning materials during the shift also presented challenges to students who develop a reliance on digital resources while learning remotely. Other challenges have also been identified including academic barriers and social engagement issues. Students face both internal and external difficulties throughout the transfer from online to offline learning, which contribute to a general resistance to the change. The greatest effect on students were specifically caused by policy problems such as policy conflicts, which led to emotional distress, monetary loss, and poor educational outcomes. Students who had become dependent on digital resources while studying remotely face difficulties as a result of the decline in digital tools and learning resources during the move. There are yet more difficulties such as social interaction problems and academic difficulties. Students face difficulties with concentration, focus, and negative issues towards school and learning. They are request help and feel overwhelmed. However, they are more neutral about assignments working independently or in groups. Addressing the issue is the crucial for creating a supporting, effective learning environment. Academic struggles are common, especially during the time of crisis. Like uh, the pandemic, it is important to be pretentious in the addressing these challenges and seek out help support when the student needs it. With the right mindset, the, strate the strategies student can overcome those struggles and achieve success also the also schools should provide the traditional support to be to students who are struggling academically providing support and responsive teaching and assessment can ensure the student receive receive the education they deserve during during the challenging time Protectedly taking sources and mindset can help the student overcome the academic struggles is three academically.